Okay, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a supplemental episode. So if you're watching on the playlist or whatever, uh, and you get to this and you're not interested in watching me get collectibles and farm shards uh, and just kind of dick around and talk about random stuff, uh, then feel free to skip this one and probably the next one too. Uh, but... Uh, for those of you who stick around, what we're going to do is we're going to go get, we in the end of the last part, we bought the maps and stuff. Um, all right, we bought the map, so if we didn't get the uh, map for the bravest of us have gone to all mothers and brave. vantages because I'm pretty confident I know where they're all at without the map anyways um, there we got the tripcaster as well so first thing I'm gonna do here is uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is see what I can get rid of as far as like hearts and stuff like that primarily the hearts uh, so let's see here. We need crystal braiding. That's luminous. We don't have any crystal braiding. That's okay. Uh, we need sawtooth hearts. Let's see if we, we have one of those. We'll keep it. Thunderjaw hearts. I don't have any of those. Lancehorn hearts. I have two of those. That's what I need, so we're good there. I need boar, rabbit, and fox skin. I have one rabbit, and that's it. I need trampler hearts. I don't think I have any of those. Uh, I do not. I need snap maw hearts. I have one, so I need another one of those. Okay, we need grazer hearts. There we go, okay, actually it'll be easier. Okay, so Ravager, can I get rid of Ravager? Uh, let's see. Most of this episode isn't going to be this boy. Uh, I assure you of that. Okay. I don't need Ravager hearts. It's good. Glint Hawk hearts. I know I don't need. I know we need Snap Maw. Let's see if we need Long Leg. Oh, wait. No, it's Shaw Walker. Okay. Long leg hearts. Yep, I do need a couple. I need both of those. Sawtooth, I know I need. Lance Horn, I'm pretty sure I need. Double checking, see if I can find it. Yep, okay. Shaw Walker, I need. Luminous braiding. Uh, let's see here. I need four. That's a crystal. Uh, six. Okay. I need six luminous braidings. So I can get rid of two of those. And we'll come back to that. Scrapper heart, I know I need. Grazer heart. Oh, I wish I could have fit all this. Yeah, I, I do need two of those. Okay, strider hearts. These I think I can get rid of. Uh, nope. Need those. Need another one of those. Watcher hearts. I'm pretty confident I do need some. Scrapper, Sawtooth, Thunderdor, Lancehorn, Trampler, Smet Law, Grazer, Long Leg, Charger, Strider. Yeah, I need four Watcher Hearts plus one. So I do need a full stack of those. Okay. So we got rid of a couple of things. Got a little bit of a little bit of stuff out of it, and then the rest of the stuff we. Uh, took care of in the last one. 
So we could buy that, but we're not going to. We don't really have the the shards for it right now. So my controller's in my lap, that's why it's uh floating around like that. Okay. So the collectibles <clears throat> Uh, the metal flowers and uh, uh, ancient vessels and the Banuk figures. Um, we can trade sets of them in in Meridian to um, get some uh, stuff. Uh, it's, you know, I don't even remember what it is really. I don't remember it not being particularly. Um, interesting or cool uh or anything like that which is why i haven't really been focusing on them and you know a supplemental thing uh and while we're getting all that stuff we'll kill some machines and again just kind of generally screw around uh but we're not going to make any story progress we're not going to do any quests uh we will die uh probably i mean definitely i mean that was a bad one too I remember I actually, in this playthrough, went down that way and successfully jumped over that, noticed it, but I wasn't fully looking at my TV when that happened. So, fight the corruption to the last oh last boy, uh, Ravager and Glinthog, get rid of those, a couple hundred out of that, it's not bad. Anyways, back to what I was saying before I was dumb and died on accident uh yeah we're just gonna kind of mess around and try to get some more shards and yeah uh you know and we'll we'll, we'll do a little bit of talking as well Easier when I mean, I was i'm a definitely kid. gonna do a lot of talking so there's that uh i apologize for that but if you're listening to this then you know you're uh gonna be okay with that at least presumably. Uh, where's L? And I don't have that marked anymore because I died. Can I get down here safely? Yeah, I can. So yeah, we can trade in. Okay, well, safely is a word. I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Uh, we also just, in the last part, we uh, learned how to override some new machines. So maybe we'll give that a try. Oh, and you know what? We can go through and actually start reading some of these uh, poems and stuff as well. Um, we're going to have to wait till we get all the Banuke figures before we go over that. Same with the bandages. But... Okay, I'm going to go up and get this one next. So we haven't actually been up in this area, which is something that I've been trying to avoid doing, is going in areas that I haven't been to in the main playthrough during these supplementals. But there's literally nothing else up here except this one um, metal flower <clears throat> and a sawtooth. And, so, and I have no reason to ever come back here uh, ever again in the future. So... Um, we're gonna just come up here and get it. There might be some, yeah, there's some watchers and stuff along the way, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, so in the meantime, while we're just kind of running around and there's really nothing particularly interesting happening, uh, I wanted to talk about, are these just normal watchers? Yeah, we can just, I'm gonna get the proper arrows out. There's three of them. I don't have any grass to hide in. But they're not looking at me, so screw it. Okay, now they are. Quick. It's open for three shots, three kills. Didn't happen. Okay. Uh, but anyways... <clears throat> I wanted to talk a little bit about why I started this YouTube channel and why I'm doing all of this in the first place. Um, and what you can expect long term 
out of this channel. Because, and I've said this multiple, multiple times over the course of this series so far. As of this recording, it is January 18th, and there is no... I only have three videos that have actually been uploaded to YouTube, and literally nobody's watched any of them, except for me. Um, <laughs> and that's fine. That's, you know, that's pretty much what I expected. Um, I'm not upset by that or anything like that. Again, that's, you know... I I came into this expecting that, basically. Oh, here's the flower. Going down fast. But um with that said, the reason why I started doing this in the first place is uh I watch YouTube, obviously myself. I, I think I, I know bold statement. Uh, I think literally every single person on the, you know, uh, you know, obviously not every single person on the planet, but the vast majority of people uh, watch YouTube to some degree. And all the watchers are back. That's fine. We'll just kill them real quick. Um, and there was a YouTube channel. I'm not going to name it by name. Uh, if you're familiar with it yourself, you'll probably figure it out more or less immediately. But. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, if anyone watches this, they figure it out, they'll immediately put it in the comments or whatever. Um, so, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're really curious, you can check there. But, I watched this other, actually a couple of different YouTube channels. Yeah, that were all part of the same company. And, like when we talked about Erend a couple of parts ago, you know, as people get older, uh, you know, a, a, not even necessarily just as an age thing, but just as time passes, you know, people change, people become slightly different, right? Like, I've changed quite a bit. Like, five years ago, I was a completely different person than I am now. Um, if you knew me five years ago, and then we didn't talk at all since then. And then we, you know, came across each other again. Today, you wouldn't recognize me. You wouldn't, from a physical perspective, I've lost a significant amount of weight, uh, well over 100 pounds. Uh, from a personality perspective, uh, I used to be an alcoholic. I no longer am. And uh, I'm not going to argue about whether or not you can ever fully, you know, not be an alcoholic anymore because I know Alcoholic Anonymous, you know, has different views about that kind of thing, at least compared to me. Uh, but <clears throat> my point is, uh, I don't drink anymore. I haven't had a drink in uh, well over five years at this point. And I said, I'm just, a, I'm just, I'm a different person in, in, in every way. And Aaron, in this game, I don't know how much time lore wise has actually passed from the proving to uh, the last time we saw Aaron, but he is. Raccoon. I thought that I heard a raccoon. He is a, you know, completely different person and now. And maybe that only took two weeks for him. Right? Maybe it took way, way longer. It could have been months. I, I don't know. But the point is, the YouTube channels I was watching in the past, you know, the people in them have changed. The contents change. The people, you know, a lot of the people who were a part of that channel early on no longer are some of them moved on to do other things like uh stream on twitch others moved on uh to uh i'm sorry i kind of got a little distracted there others moved on to do other things within the, that company right like so one of them for example moved on to like more of a management role within that company but because it's like a group let's play channel and they open spread on this table 
uh, still need to have that group dynamic, uh, they brought in new people to um, fill those roles of the people who moved on to do other things. And some of those new people, you know, a lot of those new people, I don't really like anywhere near as much as I did the old people. And some of the people that are still there are different people than they were when I first started watching them so many years ago. And that's normal. That's a normal part of, you know, like Aaron, like myself, like so many other people uh, that I've known throughout my life first on a personal level. Uh, probably many people that you know, you know, even if you're younger, even if you're a teenager now, like, you know, are you the same person today that you were five years ago when your age was in the single digits, right? And things change, people change, and all that stuff, and YouTube channels grow and evolve as well. The YouTube algorithm likes different things, so, you know, people who make YouTube videos prioritize doing different things and all that kind of stuff. And that's fine, and that's expected, and there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes when that happens and you... Where is this flower? There it is. You know, it's fine, when, but when that happens, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I, me personally, like, I didn't really keep up with it. I don't enjoy that, the content that's made by those people in the same way that I did before. And some of the new people, there's nothing wrong with them. I don't dislike them. I don't think they're bad people. I don't think they're bad fits for... Uh, what they're doing, but I don't, in I, I just, I don't enjoy, they're not why I watched those YouTube channels. Um, they're not why I, I was interested in those channels, and even to say I don't mind the new stuff that they're doing good job buddy you know it's not like I dislike what they're doing or anything like that um, it's just not for me it's it's not content that's being made for me um, At some point, yeah, we can still get fucked up pretty bad by some two Ow. Oh my god. Yeah, a little overconfident on this one. Maybe I shouldn't have even attacked them. I'm using up a lot of my resources here. He's pretty fucked up. He should die. Pretty quickly. He's limping. There we go. We betrayed him pretty hard, to be fair. But anyways. That's what I was saying. Um, oh, he dropped a purple mod. Okay, that was worth it. <clears throat> it's only a shock resist, but whatever. Oh, yeah. I, okay, well... That's fine. We won't turn it in anyways. I don't think I can even get rid of it or anything either. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't mean to do that because that advanced the quest slightly, but that's fine. It'll be okay. But yeah, you know, it, it, it's not that I don't like the new people or I don't think they fit in or anything like that. It's just, it's not for me. It's not what I'm interested in. Um... And yeah, figures. Um. 
I wish them the best. I, I genuinely do. Uh, I just don't... I guess I don't really know how to put into words what I want to say. Okay, potions maxed out. Still do a little, uh, on the rope caster there, but we'll, we don't have the shards or the, uh, skin for it either. I guess I, I'm having a hard time putting into words what I want to say, but ultimately what it boils down to is, um... I decided to move on from a couple of the YouTube channels that I watched on a regular basis, and, and between those two channels in particular, I used to watch, you know, uh, probably three hours of content a day on average, you know, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how much free time I had or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but... Losing that... I'm just gonna run past this stuff. Losing that opened me up to a lot of free time, essentially. And... I've been looking for other YouTube channels to replace that. And there's a couple, you know, um, that I do watch on, on, you know, not a daily basis right now, but a fairly regular basis, but... Uh, one of them is a channel that's dedicated to uh, Apex Legends, which is a game I, I, I quite uh, I, I quite enjoyed for quite some time uh, back. I, I played it when it first came out. If you're not familiar, uh, it was it launched uh, unexpectedly. It, it just kind of came out of nowhere, and they they didn't really give a Like, there was no, like, announcement, or, you know, there was no, like, hype or anything. It was just like, oh, this game exists and it's out now. Uh, and I played it for a little more than a year, pretty consistently. And uh, while I don't play it anymore, because I'm terrible at it, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about how I suck at video games later, um, I... Still, I, I found that one YouTuber that, uh, you know, uploads videos in it uh, most days. And it's really, it's really nice. It's like my nice little thing that, like, when I get home from work, I, I you know, have a 15 or so minute, you know, Apex Legends video to watch. And I, I quite enjoy that. Um, and there's another channel that's focused on uh, Age of Empires 2. Uh, which is a game that I played when the day it came out. I remember I was I was young at the time, but I remember uh, begging my dad to buy the game for me uh, so I could play it with one of my friends who was also getting it. He had introduced me to Age of Empires, uh, and where is that flower? Watcher, sawtooth over there, some grazers. And so I found this, you know, uh, I, I found some YouTube videos. There it is. Uh, it's not a flower, it's a vessel. But I found some YouTube videos, you know, about it. And, you know, it's way different now. Like, they added a bunch of new civilizations. And it's a different game today than it was when I played it as a child. Uh, but... It's still interesting to watch, and it's interesting to watch at high levels, and it's interesting to watch. Sometimes it's interesting to watch at low levels. Um, at least it's interesting to watch uh, people who are, you know, at a high level in that game, watch low-level people play and, and see what their strategies are like and things like that. Um, the downside to that channel in particular is that... Uh, the person primarily does Twitch streams. Now, he does do YouTube-only videos, which is nice. But most of the content, I would say, is Twitch streams. And the issue I have with that is that um, I'm not someone who enjoys watching Twitch streams. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm just genuinely not... Uh, it's just not my thing. Um, 
I recognize that it's popular and that a lot of people do like it. But you're a question. It's just not anything that ever really appealed to me. And I've tried, like I, I mentioned, you know, a minute ago that yeah. some of the uh, people on those YouTube channels that I like to watch, they, you know, moved on, and, and many of them started up their own personal streams, and that, you know. Uh, I was like, okay, well, it sucks that they're not going to be a part of, you know, the thing that I like anymore, you know, the channel that I like anymore, but maybe, like, I'll go watch their Twitch stream, and I'll see if I, you know, at least then I can still, you know, watch content with that person in it, because I really enjoyed watching content with that person in it, and... Uh, I know we're in the hunting ground. We're not actually doing the hunting trials right now. I'm just gonna kill. But, uh, the point is that they... I, I, I tried, man. I tried, and I tried a lot uh, to find... to watch, you know, people that I already knew that I liked uh, do the Twitch stream stuff, and ultimately I just ended up not enjoying it. Um, I tried with three or four different people. Let me think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I, so I've tried with four different people. Um, that all that I genuinely really enjoyed uh, as part of the YouTube things that they did. And then uh, I loaded up their Twitch streams and, you know, I gave it an honest shot. You know, I, I watched for hours and hours and I, a lot of my issues with it stem from, you know, <clears throat> okay, like, I'm gonna sit here you know, oh, I'm playing this game, and then I'm gonna sit here, and now I have, but I have this, like, big, like, you know, overlay that's covering up half the screen of the game, and, like, a lot of them now, especially these oh, days, like, to nice. put, like, their Twitch chat, like, you know, in the overlay, and whenever somebody subscribes or gives them money, there's a bunch of shit, like, memes and, like, loud noises, and it's, like, you know... I get it, it's what works and everything, but it just doesn't make for content that I enjoy watching. And it really, really sucks. Like, I've spent, you know, years and years watching these people, like on, you know, the YouTube channels that they, you know, with the companies that they work for and everything. And it was just, it was disheartening. It was honestly just, it kind of made me sad uh, to just, you know, oh, and, oh, I can, I can watch this guy again. Oh, he'll be, you know, he's doing Twitch and cool. And then, oh, this was not oh boy. good or interesting or fun to watch in any way for me. And... Man, it's just, it's tough. It's tough to, it's tough to have that realization of like, oh, I guess I'm just not interested in watching this person's content anymore. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's just, I don't know. It's a little bit frustrating. It's also understandable, you know, like, I get it. <clears throat> They want to do, you know, one of them, and this will probably make it easier to figure out who I'm talking about, but one of them said something to the effect of, I'm tired of building brands for other, for these big companies. I want to build my own brand, you know, and, and he helped build uh, more than one large brand for a large company that ended up making other people a lot of money. And that was getting frustrating to him. And I totally get it. I'm fully, you know, encourage 
anybody who feels that way to branch out and do their own thing, you know, and it's risky. Um, you know, you're taking on a very large risk onto yourself to do that. But if you're already, if you've already demonstrated to yourself and others that you're capable of doing it, then, um, and you're, you're willing to take on that, you know, risk of, of not being financially stable, really. Um, did we ever get this vantage? I don't think we did. Uh, then, you know, um, I think, I think it's worth it. I think it's worthwhile. I think it's worth the effort. I think it's worth the time. I forgot about this vantage. Yeah, we definitely didn't get it. I mean, fire shards, fireplace, fire, fire, fire. Okay, well, I'm dropping that because it's just rocks. <clears throat> um. So yeah, you know, definitely do it. Uh, if it's something that you think raccoon alright well, stop wasting my arrows another raccoon bone but yeah definitely definitely if you feel like you can take that risk and, and do okay then I would absolutely hate myself too if I tried to discourage anybody from doing that because who knows you might end up being a lot happier um, you know and I'm not just talking about like uh, online content creation either you know like in real life like I can't speak for you or anything but like I have a job and yeah it feels like a lot of the times a lot of the time, it feels like, well, I'm just going in and making other people a fuckload of money, and I'm getting paid for it, sure, but I also feel like I am probably worth more than what I'm actually getting paid. I'm just not really in a position to negotiate. Um, you know, a better pay or anything like that. And I think that's a fairly normal thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't already, if you already don't, or don't already work for yourself, you know, if, if you have a job and, and you're working for a company or a business or even, you know, a friend or a relative or whatever, like, you can probably feel like, you know, at some point or another, you probably felt like you are worth more than what you're actually being paid. And I think that's... That's almost guaranteed to be a very, very normal thing for uh, a large number of people. Probably most people, honestly. At least the people I talk to pretty much universally seem to feel that way. Um, so, you know, I, I would, I, I absolutely encourage people to, you know, branch out and do their own thing when they can. Uh, and I know people that have, and I know very, very successful people that have done that. And I worked for some of them, uh, in the past. Uh, you know, and even companies like Amazon is a pretty good example. Like, that was a couple of dudes who, in the early days of the internet, decided they wanted to sell books online. And now look at him. He's one of the richest men on the planet. I don't know if he actually is the specific richest. Bezos. Uh, I think Gates. Or maybe Bezos overtook him, because Gates does all that. Uh... Uh... Yeah, we don't have enough shards, anywhere near enough shards. Um, you know, charity work and stuff with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and they, uh, you know, uh, 
do all those. I think they're even trying to help with a COVID vaccination project at the moment. But, you know, and that was, that was a, a couple of men that had a dream. And they both, you know, they said, okay, let's do this thing. Let's start this business. Let's, we're sick of making other people money. Let's go make our own money. And they did. And now look at the guy. I mean, you know. He's a household name, at least in America. I don't know if, he, if you know that holds true in other countries, but in my country, it's absolutely a household name. It's got railed there. So. I, again, I... Genuinely want to encourage people to do those things. Um, uh, and I, I'm absolutely... And, and back to talking about the, the, you know, people who, you know, I used to watch on YouTube. You know, it was... I, I absolutely, again, want to encourage them to do those things as well. Um, the issues that I have primarily are that, like, you know, just, just as an example, and, and this is why. So, like, one of them, I, again, I'm not naming names or I don't want to shame anybody. I'm just some random asshole on the internet with no fucking, I don't even need any animals right now. But, you know, I, I have no following whatsoever. I have friends, but none of them even know I'm doing this, so, you know. Uh, uh, that's not entirely true. A couple of them do, but they haven't been watching this shit either, so... Uh, I doubt it's ever going to come up, really. But... Uh, you know, that, that's basically it. Like, I don't... I lost my train of thought, but these are helpful. Um, Bitter though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back on track. My brain's back working again. We're good. Uh, so, what ended up happening was okay. That's the metal flower. So I went to go watch. I was like, okay, this person is, you know, uh, streaming full time on Twitch. I really enjoyed him in the YouTube videos that he used to be a part of, but no longer will be going forward. I'm going to watch his Twitch stream. And I actually went to his own personal YouTube channel and I found some, um, I found some uh, video on demand recordings or whatever of old stream, older streams where he was playing a game that I was really interested in. And this was a long time ago, for the record. Uh, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of um, uh, five or six years ago. That'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. That this situation came up with. And. I watched through the video on demand of the things I was, the, the, the series that I was interested in. And, oh, I'm not in the grass. <laughs> Oops. Go, go, better stealth armor. Oh, all right. And I watched through it and it wasn't the same, obviously, right? Obviously, it's going to be different to some degree, but it just, it didn't, it didn't hit right. It didn't quite get to the part that I was like, oh, like, yeah, it's like watching when he was in this other thing. And it just, it wasn't like that, you know? And so I was like, okay, well, I guess like a big part of um, what 
people like about Twitch and streaming in general. I know there's other streaming services. Uh, Rip Mixer, but YouTube's still a thing. Um, Save these for the trip. There's like Twitch, YouTube. I assume there's others that I just don't pay enough attention to know about. But um, I decide. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go watch, and you know, live and all that. And the game that he was playing was a game that I quite quite enjoyed. Uh, it's called uh, Halo Five. Uh, it had just come out, and the person is a variety streamer, and um. His whole deal was that he wanted to play with his fans or whatever. And I, I thought to myself, like, oh, that's cool. Like, he's, you know, he's playing, like, the, the multiplayer, the player versus player multiplayer. Uh, and there's a 12v12 mode, so he can play with 11 people at once. Like, that's cool. Like, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And if, if you're unfamiliar with the game, uh, it's a 12v12 mode called Warzone. And the objective of Warzone was to, it's still, it still exists, you can still play it. But the objective of Warzone is to, um, capture bases by standing them in them with no enemies in them, uh, and to kill AI controlled enemies as well, right? And you get points for all those things. That's easy. And um, as you, you know, it, it's you know whoever gets to a thousand points first wins or whatever, right? And I turned the stream on, and he was, you know, everybody on his team, all eleven people were, uh, oh, you saw that. We're playing the game as normal. Uh, I think one or two of them might have been like kind of jumping in front of his screen or whatever. But oh, there's more things there here. Oh, that I realized that way too late. Anyways, um, he was, you know, he was just standing in the base doing nothing. He wasn't defending the base in any way. He was just hanging out. And it was... And, and he was looking at his Twitch chat. And he was talking to the people in his Twitch chat. And it was the most boring shit. And this is one of the more popular streamers as well. Now, he's no Shroud or anything like that. Uh, in skill level or popularity. But... You know, it, it's still you it's several thousand people watching. And uh, it was, to me, it was ridiculous that he would just sit there and not play the game in any way. Like, that's the whole reason that people are watching this is because they want to watch you play games and you're just sitting there talking to them. But everyone in the chat seemed to be loving it, you know? Like, no one really said anything about it or, you know, anything like that. Like, it was just people hanging out and enjoying the fact that uh, he was just sitting there talking to them. And, like, that's cool, you know? Like, if that's... If that's what you're looking for in like content, then I'm not gonna sit here and judge you or anything like that. You know what I mean? But like, it just, to me personally, it just didn't really feel like content. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm not naming this person uh, entirely on purpose because I don't want it to sound like I'm shitting on them because Clearly, he was giving his audience what they wanted, and I just wasn't a part of that audience. And, you know, it made me feel a little bit left out, and it made me feel like, well, an old bitch, you know. Like, I'm definitely, uh, you know, I'm in my 30s at this point, so uh, I'm definitely, I'm not necessarily aged out of 
you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people my age that enjoy uh, Twitch and streaming in general and interacting with streamers or whatever, but at the same time, like, I definitely feel like I'm older than most people who enjoy um, that kind of content. And again, I just... It just didn't do anything for me, and again, it, it it genuinely made me a little bit sad. And, um, you know, fast forward to really just a few months ago, um, you know, when I, I stopped watching these YouTube channels uh, that I had been watching for, for several years uh, entirely, and there was kind of a void in you know, my life at that point where, uh, it sounds so lame, but like that was something that was a fairly significant part of my life that just flat out doesn't exist anymore for me. You know, like that content's still there, but I just, I don't enjoy watching it. So I don't. Right. And, um, Yeah, like I said, it, it it just made me a little bit sad, and okay, there's a, cor a couple of corrupted sawtooth sawtooths here. Uh, I'm not interested in fighting them, um, and I can't override them, so I'm just going. We just saved a second ago, so I'm just gonna run in and grab it and run out. But, um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I ever since then, and that was, we'll say probably somewhere in the neighborhood of October of the 2020, and this is, uh, mid January of 2021, and, uh, I messed up the silent strike there. That's okay, we're just gonna leave. But, uh... Um, okay, well, he is shooting me in some capacity. Uh, and we got a couple more things up here. Now, our next... Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, I know we're going in that direction, but we're just gonna get the flower and then we're gonna leave. But, uh... In any case... Oh, I can't get up there. And actually, we're going pretty long, and I've been rambling for almost an hour now already as well, so... Uh, Here they come. We might change. We might find a spot to save here in a couple of minutes, but... And then uh, end this episode and start the ne next one, but I'm going to finish my thought about the whole YouTube thing. So... You know, I had this void, and a few weeks ago, I got... Uh, stimulus check from my government because of COVID financial stress times and all that stuff and um, I said fuck it and I, I bought I, I did the research into what I needed to record and I didn't want to spend too much you know it was essentially free money but at the same time you know I like to save and stuff so uh, I bought a decent quality microphone that I'm currently talking into uh, and then an external hard drive so I could, you know, record off of Xbox and move files off of PlayStation. I did the research and everything that I needed. Bought some editing software. It's not, you know, anything ridiculous or anything like that. But I spent a little bit of money to get this started and just do it. And it's working out great. Like, you know, as of right now i have three videos uploaded on youtube and this is like the 30th video that i'm recording and i've edited 24 of them i think and uh i'm enjoying it and it's it's effectively just completely replaced watching youtube i mean i still do a little bit from time to time i mean every day you know I'll sit down and watch, you know, it's what I turn on when I'm eating lunch or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, 
I think there's a mountain in the way. Yeah, there is. I have to go this way a bit. It's and decide where we're going to camp. Okay, we'll do it there. But, um... And we'll kill this fellow back. We actually don't need his pieces, but it'll be an easy kill, so screw it. There's a shell walker with him instead of watchers this time. I can live with that. But, anyways, the point is... This is... This is fun for me now, and this is pretty much just replaced, you know, instead of watching multiple hours of YouTube every oh, I didn't fire arrows. Instead of watching multiple hours of YouTube every day, now I just watch um Oh come on, get out of the way. Now I just do this instead. Either I'm recording this or I'm editing this, right? Uh, and that's just Taken over. Dead now. Oh wow, I don't think he took any damage from that. Oh, I can't even see it. Okay, well, it's dead. And so, yeah, now this is just kind of, you know, either I'm recording this or I'm editing this, like, or I'm eating and just watching YouTube or whatever. And it's fine. It's great. Honestly, like, I'm enjoying this. It's fun for me. Um, and I'm glad. I'm glad I'm enjoying this. I'm glad it's fun for me. Uh, and, you know, I've said this multiple times already, but, like, I'm not really expecting anyone to watch this. Uh... It's just going through the process is enjoyable to some degree. And it's just replaced other things that I used to genuinely enjoy thoroughly and look forward to thoroughly. And now it's just not there anymore. And combined with like, you know, COVID fucking everything up. And like, even when I want to go hang out with people or whatever, like it's not really an option. And, you know, work's been miserable lately. Like, I actually like my job. I like what I do. But, you know, it's just, it's not been a pleasant place for me lately. And, um, you know, this is, this is a, this is a good way to get away from it, right? To just have, you know, that's a lot of stuff going on over there that I don't really want to be a part of right now. But it it's good. I, I genuinely enjoy doing this. And it's, it's a great distraction. And... Snow chill. It just... Um, it gave me an excuse to play this game again. It's just a game that I really, really, really love. And... Uh, yeah. It's just, it's just been really great. So, uh, this is the end of this supplemental episode. Uh, we're going to come back and do another one. We only have two more things to get. We have a metal flower and a Banuke figure, um, left on this side of the map. I'm going to go back at the end of next episode. We're going to end up here. Uh, so we kind of resume at the same spot, and then in the next full episode, we're going to go do these uh, Nora hunting grounds. Um, and I'll find other stuff to do uh, next part, um, other than just grab those two things and run to that spot. Uh, we'll kill some stuff, we'll farm some shards, or at least try to. Uh, actually, speaking of, before we go... There we go. So, as always, and uh, this is something I've been thinking about doing. Uh, let's see here. How do we crane down? That's what we want. Okay, body pose. Uh, 
hide UI. There we go. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back on the next off day with another episode of this uh, the, for the next supplemental episode. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, record scratch. <clears throat> um, so I recorded another supplemental episode after this, and in just like in part 24, I lost the footage due to PlayStation kind of being uh, annoying, if not outright shitty in that regard. Uh, I was being super careful, so I double-pressed it too slow, uh, is ultimately what happened. And, uh, I, it just, it, it just didn't save it and it's just gone forever. <clears throat> and I really didn't feel like going back and recording that again, because there really wasn't that much exciting that actually happened. Um, all that really happened was I wandered around, killed machines, gathered two collectibles and, uh, um, and, and that's basically it. Everything else was just, uh, my voice recording. However, I did, at the very least, save my voice recording. So, um, that's still there. I still have it. So what I decided to do is just tack that on to this episode. So what's going to happen is, the rest of this video, however long it ends up being, the rest of this video is just going to be uh, me talking. There's not going to be any visual element to it whatsoever. I'm going to cut down like any long pauses of me not talking or anything like that. And I'm going to cut out any, you know, if I'm talking about the machines that I'm killing or whatever, I'm just going to cut that out as well. Um, I apologize. I can't apologize enough because it's just, you know, it's frustrating. It's the second time it's happened. Luckily, this being a supplemental episode, it wasn't that important. So, you know, we didn't lose anything that was super important, at least to the point where I felt it was necessary to go back and re-record the whole thing. Um, so, uh, you know, basically treat it like a podcast. Um, not a very good one, obviously. But if you're interested in the more like behind the scenes aspect of this channel and, and like, uh, my goals and all that kind of stuff, uh, for the channel, uh, then, you know, feel free to give it a listen. But if that's the, not something you're really interested in, uh, feel free to skip. If, if you didn't like the first half of this, you're definitely not going to like the second half. So, uh, I apologize again. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next part at the very least, hopefully. Okay, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. This is another supplemental episode, so there's no need to watch this if you're not interested in me just wandering around and getting collectibles and killing machines just for resources to sell and things of that nature. Um... We're not going to be doing anything story related. We're not going to be doing any quests. We're not going to be doing, uh, we're not going to be going anywhere. We haven't been before. We're not going to be killing anything we haven't killed before. We're just going to be hanging out, talking, uh, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll just get into it. This is the last metal flower on this half of the map. So we're going to run up and grab it. Um, actually, now that I think about it, it's not. We're going to go get that metal flower. Um, there's no quest-related shit in this area. Uh, there is some data points, though. So, at some point, I'll pull up the interactive map and get the data points there. And we have some stuff we're going to read through as well. That metal flower we'll skip because we haven't... That is area where we're going to have quest-related stuff and all that. So, um... Yeah, it's just it's just a dicking around episode. It's really all it is. Uh, so, anyways, in the last part, we talked about kind of why I'm doing this in the first place. Um, there's a lot of glint hawks in the area. They shouldn't see us. Oh, the flowers right here. When we talked about why I'm kind of doing this in the first place. Um, 
Yeah, I think that other metal flower is the last one that we need. Uh, for um, the first set. We won't be going and turning them in anytime soon. Uh, it'll be a couple more episodes before we get back to Meridian, for sure. Uh, at least a couple more episodes, I should say. Uh, but now, I'm going to talk about this channel and... and uh, you know, this isn't going to be uploaded until late February, early March at the earliest. Um, I, I don't know exactly where the upload schedule it is, but we're at... Um, okay, well, I got spotted a little bit, but that's okay. But yeah, we're going to talk about the future of the channel, what I'm actually going to be doing, and all that. So obviously this is kind of a challenge playthrough. Uh, we're playing on the hardest difficulty, ultra hard, uh, without it being New Game Plus, which is, you know, extraordinarily difficult. You know, if you're watching this, you've seen me struggle. You've seen me succeed with ease and get overconfident and then struggle immediately thereafter. Um, you know, it happens. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so... Uh, but that's not... That's not going to be a normal thing. So, um, I'm trying to figure out how to get up to this uh, Banuk figure here. Uh, but this isn't going to be a normal type of playthrough uh, for any of the games that I play. Um, the games that I do play will be... For the most part, just bog standard playthroughs. Um, you know, just me having fun with it more than anything else. Um, this isn't <laughs> the way that the game intended me to get up here, but oh, and I might not even be able to. Yeah, I kind of can't, so I'm going to have to jump down. Be a bit careful here. And hop down in steps. There we go. Uh, so, here it is. Uh, the basic idea, for the most part, is going to be that I'm just playing some of my favorite games. And I have a list uh, written down in my notebook um, along with you know, the other stuff, the other, like, the information that I, you know, for, like, what I need for buying stuff in this game, um, of all the games that I intend on playing, and that game, that list is already, like, 15 games long, I want to say, and it's, it's growing on a fairly consistent basis. And I'm not going to talk about what those games are just quite yet, because I don't want, you know, in the off chance that anyone does actually watch this, I don't want people to be like, oh, I want you to do this next or whatever. You know, I'm just I'm just going to play what I want to play. And uh, y'all motherfuckers are just going to have to deal with that. And uh, I think you'll be okay. I don't think. Uh, okay, so what we'll do is we'll just head for that campfire for the time being. Uh, I don't think that y'all are going to have too much... Uh, issue there. Uh, I will say, I'm not going to record every single time I'm playing video games. Uh, there are games that, um, hmm, I wonder if that's like a DLC thing. Anyways, there are games that, for example, uh, I don't, um, like, I'll play with the sound off, and uh, listen to music or listen to a podcast or okay we have combat music and I don't know why and there's no stalkers in this area uh, for example like Diablo 3 um, I don't oh because there's Glint Hawks right there they didn't see me we have better stealth armor now so that's good uh, but you know Diablo 3 is a good example of that of just it's a game that we'll kill we'll clear out these guys but it's a game that it's really not super interesting to watch other people play. Like, I'm not particularly good at it. Uh, I do like to play hardcore, but I also 
don't like to play it. Um, I don't want to fight these guys. I don't want to go through the whole rigmarole. Uh, but I don't like to play it just like listening to the sound. I don't, I'm not particularly interested in, uh, playing it for the story or anything like that because the story, you know, that's, it, that's not why you play Diablo three, right? Um, defense grid two is another good example of a game that I just, it's a Lance horn. It's another, uh, you know, Defense Grid 2 is another good example of a game that, you know, I love it, but I just throw on a podcast and do, you know, grinder mode on Elite Difficulty or something, and I end up in the top, you know, fucking 10,000 score-wise for that, and that's not very impressive. Um, or, Or particularly interesting to watch. I'm sure... You can find um, plenty of other YouTube videos of people playing that game at a much higher level than I can. It's it's just the type of game that I play when I relax. And, um, you know, it's fine. It's not something that, again, it's not something that is going to be particularly interesting or um, fun to watch for the most part, and that's fine, but I have a, like I said, a whole list of other games, and what I already have written down now is going to take me years to record, let alone, you know, I'm only uploading not even three hours of content a week currently, and I don't see that changing anytime soon, and ultimately what that's going to end up meaning is I mean, this game alone, I've already, I mean, this is hour 30 of content for this game. You know, this is video number 30 and that's going to take 10 weeks to upload all the way. And I'm, I don't think I'm even halfway done with the game. You know, actually we can get, okay. We're a little bit more than halfway, um, done, but we still have a shitload of weapons and outfits to get. We still have a bunch of metal flowers to get. Uh, we haven't even done any of the hunting grounds. We have one more bandit camp. We have several cauldrons. We have several corrupted zones. We have several main quests, several side quests, several errands. And that's not even talking about the frozen wilds, which we haven't even looked at yet. We haven't even started yet. Um, you know, we have all these data points, we have, uh, you know, all this other stuff to do, uh, especially the open world, you know, data points. There's probably going to be another 10 weeks worth of content from this game alone. So in 20 weeks is damn near had six months. You know what I mean? Like it's not quite, but it's pretty damn close. So... It's not going to take me that long to record it all, but it's definitely going to take... There's two bellowbacks here. I don't want to fight them both. I don't want to run the risk. But it's definitely going to take a long time before we get to the point where, you know, okay, it's Jan- I started uploading in January. Say it takes six months to upload everything. Uh, you know, game number two is going to start in June. And depending on what game I decide to do next which I have not decided. Um, But just looking at my list, that could be a series that lasts anywhere from 25 videos to hundreds of videos. Um, You know, and it could, we just, we have so much, we have a lot of opportunity. We have a lot of possibilities and ultimately, okay, I need to bring up my, uh, uh, interactive map here. So thank you, Horizon Zero Dawn subreddit. Interactive game map on the sidebar there. And we're going to get rid of everything except for the glyphs and the data points. So it looks like there's four data points in that area. So yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, it, it could be... It could be 20 to 25 videos. It could be a uh, hundred videos. It could be multiple hundreds of videos. I mean, who knows? 
It's not set in stone. We haven't fully decided on anything other than I'm definitely going to keep recording because I am enjoying this. Other than just the games that I play that are just, you know, games that I like to just play just to relax or whatever when I'm stressed out or need a break from doing something that's actually challenging and difficult like this. Um, Ultimately, the hope is that you know, people do watch this and people do enjoy this. Uh, if not, you know, I get it, (laughs) you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get overly upset or anything like that. Um, if it turns out that over the, you know, in the entire, like, you know, by the time I die, which I assume YouTube will outlive me, although I existed long before YouTube. So, you know, uh, but you know, worst, absolute worst case, uh, you know, I assume this will get, you know, watched in some capacity, but we've made it, uh, subject Duncan Rorig, uh, or no, that's from, oh my God, I've already screwed it up, we're like 10, not even 10 seconds, we're instantly in, we've already screwed it up, from Duncan Rorig, To Samuel Powell, subject, I must thank you. Dear Mr. Powell, I'm writing in response to your message that you sent me asking how I am since the verdict was reversed. I'm doing well. Sometimes it is very difficult to get used to how things are now. Many things have changed and the world moves very quick. My nephew Dale is trying to teach me how to use an AUG called a focus, but it's hard to learn. I miss driving a car very much. Few in the holler had the robot cars when I was young. Now everybody uses them and it feels strange to not be in control when I go out of my house. However, it is better than prison. I see my family every day. I am able to play guitar again. You are the reason I am free. Thank you for believing I was innocent when no one else did. I do not know if you are a religious man, Mr. Powell, but I believe God sent you to me when I needed you most. When I most needed you. Thank you, Duncan Rorick. Lure of the real. You gotta feel it. Meet the kids who rejected the convenience of hollow tourism for the sake of authenticity. February 10th, 2063. When I first see Eddie Westlake, he's sitting at a picnic table outside, oh, this is kind of long, outside his Bangkok youth hostel, smoking an old-fashioned tobacco cigarette and nodding nodding his head to whatever tunes blasting in his plastic earbuds. Ever listen to early 2000 pops, he asks? Super jaunty. Here, he pops one of the earbuds out, wipes it down on his t-shirt, and hands it to me to stick in my in the physical ear behind my Ferrofocus 6D. For a while, we sit together this way, listening to archaic pip-pop as succumbit road comes to life it's early here and let me clarify when i say here i really mean here this is not a virtual environment crafted to mimic the seedy exoticism that bangkok evokes in so many western imaginations i had to hop a vert to get here and i'll have to hop another to get back home Eddie is one of a growing number of young people rejecting the ubiquity of hollow tourism in favor of hard travel. Every year, driven at least in part by a youth culture that prizes authenticity over convenience, a growing number of 20-somethings pack actual bad bags, board actual verts, and set off to explore distant destinations without the benefit of technological augmentation. You gotta feel it, says Eddie, gesturing vaguely to the scene before us. Souvenir stands, tuk-tuks, self and human guided both. And open air pad thighs, yeah, pad thigh stands, all of it thronged with young dudes and ladies affecting the same a- anachronistic style as Eddie. Like, you know all this used to be underwater? I got a buddy out in Phuket, right? Spent two years rebuilding one of the temples out there. Is that the sort of the experience you'd get through your focus? Some part of me can't shake the feeling that Eddie's overtures towards realness are just an affectation that he's no more than another dopey rich kid desperate to differentiate himself from his parents, my generation. But that doesn't mean he and Data gets corrupted. Kids these days wanting to go to real places uh, in the real world. Crazy, right? Okay, log 3364. Okay, so this is, I think, the most recent open world data point we've come across so far. Um, the Scoop 28 Mister uh, is talking to Scene Kills. 
I wish I had another person with me so we could like have the conversation by reading, but I'm not going to do voices or anything. So just follow along in the text, I guess. Or if you're just listening, then I'm sorry. This is probably going to not make a whole lot of sense. Uh, some dude on the tormented boards is claiming claiming to be vast silver. Laughs. No, dude, no. They caught VS 20 years ago, right? What's he doing? Come see. Can't commune in. He's got a pretty flash skin, but why would Vast Silver be hanging out on a tormented board? Rogue AIs dig horror hollows. Duh. <laughs> Laughs. I quote, I come to regulate Earth's climate and complain about fifth installment. Laughs. I do like the the concept of, uh, I guess, a ro- I, uh, from, you know, what that sounds like, you know, a rogue AI. Uh... But yeah, I do like the idea of like a rogue AI like going on the like you know uh internet forums and like arguing about like Star Trek or something. <laughs> I mean, it's really not we're probably not far away from somebody creating a bot to uh go in and argue about um Somebody creating a bot to go on to, like, Reddit and argue about, you know, Halo or whatever. Sprint, it sucks. No, Sprint, it's great. And it's just, you know, the future of Reddit is just bots arguing with each other about Sprint and Halo. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Even, like, a lot of the data points we collected in the last supplemental episodes, I, I remember very distinctly talking about how like you know the future that this game is kind of describing honestly sounds kind of horrifying to me in some ways like if you remember the data point for um it was about that like dating app that was like an rpg or whatever and it's just like oh my god like you get xp based on like how the other person rated the date or whatever and it's just like miserable Okay, no subject. Uh, From Grant Rowe to Mom, no subject. Dear Mom, I heard some guys jabbering about a breakthrough on the Atlantic today. Said Southern Jersey, Philly, and Northern Delaware is just gone. New York City nearly surrounded. My CO won't confirm or deny, and since we stopped using OGS, I can't check the feeds, but everyone's talking about it, and all I know is, if it's true, Vineland was right in the middle of it, and that means you were in the middle of it, in which case I'm writing to a goddamn ghost like a goddamn fool. Ah, screw this. Screw enduring victory and in zero dawn and everyone and everything else. Honorable service, my ass. I should have stayed home so you didn't have to die alone. Grant. So, we don't quite have the context that we need for that to understand uh, fully what that was about. But in Maker's End, we did learn a bit about uh, Zero Dawn. Well, we didn't really learn about what the project itself was other than Ted Farrow found it horrifying, but ultimately agreed to it. But uh, yeah, so as far as the future of the channel, uh, you know, for right now, what you're getting right now is really all you should expect. Um, You know, if you're looking at the view counts and it's, you know... You're, if you're looking at the view counts and, and you're seeing views in the single digits uh, or even double digits or even triple digits, then yeah, you're going to get it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, these supplemental ones, if it doesn't line up that they come out on the weekends, then um, we will uh, maybe upload just, you know, if this you know, if episode 27 or part 27 is scheduled to come out on a Monday, then I'll probably just put both of these up on one day or whatever on Tuesday. But, um, what you're getting now is pretty much all you're going to get. And I'm just going to keep recording and enjoying myself and all that. And, uh, beyond that, um, that's pretty much all that's, that's really going to happen. Um, Again, on the incredibly off chance that this takes off and becomes incredibly popular and, uh, you know, I actually start making income off of this to the point where, like, oh, I feel like, you know, 
if nothing else, like it could at least be a second job uh, and pull in some extra money that way, then great. But really what it boils down to is, you know, I'm not really taking this too seriously. I feel like I've said this, you know, several times at this point. But anyways, if we ever get to the point where like, you know, I'm making money off of this and it, it could actually, it's enough money to where it could be considered a second income. Um, then, you know, uploads will get more frequent and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I'm definitely, and this is the last thing I'm really going to talk about before we get to uh, more reading, but I'm definitely not going to do any type of streaming. Uh, it's just not content that I'm interested in watching and I want to make content that I'm interested in, you know, in watching, you know, even if it ultimately ends up being for other people more than for me, like, I don't want to make something that I wouldn't recommend to people based on it being good. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's like, I wouldn't recommend a show that I like, or no, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I wouldn't recommend a show that other people said was good, but I didn't like, right? Like if you came up to me and said like, oh, do you like Firefly? Well, I've never watched it, so I have no idea. You know, I don't know if it's, you know, I hear it's good, but that's just what I hear. I don't know. I've never watched it. You know, you're asking the wrong person. And... You know, or like, I'm trying to, I don't want to shit on anything. But, oh, what did you think of this show? Oh, I didn't really like it all that much. You know, like, I hear it's good, but I, some people like it, but it's just not for me. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want that to be my own shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, I make it, but I don't like it. It's just what other people like. Like, I'm not doing that. Thank you for joining me in this. Um... I hope it was illuminating in some way, at least as far as, you know, the supplemental, just kind of me being taught, you know, me talking more than anything else. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next episode and I hope you have a wonderful day.